Oh, hey there. Did you know Google and Microsoft are monitoring your files stored on their cloud services? Oh, you didn't. Newsflash, they do. This is why there's so much fanfare about mega cloud storage. Like flies to a fruit, people are flocking to mega cloud storage in droves. But is mega cloud really worth the hype? Well, let's discover it together, shall we? I'm Josh, and in today's video, I'll dissect the cloud-based platform based on the following categories. Features, security, privacy, pricing, and ease of use. I'll award marks in each category on a scale of one to five, with one indicating the lowest score and five the highest. So be sure to watch till the end. And in the meantime, smash that like button and subscribe to this channel for more in-depth reviews on cloud storage services. Let's now turn our attention to the platform of the moment, MegaCloud. First, it's features. MegaCloud has a host of features that can be overwhelming. Honestly, I find some of them necessary and others not so much. But Mega's top feature for me is MegaChat, an end-to-end -end encryption chat room where I can collaborate effortlessly with my team. It also has a video and voice call option I can use on days when I struggle to express my thoughts in typed words. MegaChat's end-to-end -end encryption means only my group members can see the messages. Think of it as WhatsApp or FaceTime, but even better. I can use MegaChat across different platforms and on multiple devices, such as Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and iOS. I could go on about MegaChat, but you get the picture. So let's talk about a different feature, file sharing. MegaCloud has one of the most secure file sharing protocols in the industry. It automatically encrypts all the files I save on its platform. I can then send the encryption key to whoever I share the files with, enabling them to view the contents. I can even add extra security by allowing password protected links to keep my files safe, safer than Fort Knox. The cloud storage platform allows syncing across all devices. It is compatible with major operating systems like these right here, Windows, Android, Mac OS, Linux, and iOS. It also has a dedicated mobile app for Android and iOS devices with an exclusive desktop app for Windows and Mac OS. Mega supports browser extensions on Chrome, Firefox, Opera, and Mozilla, which allows easy access and quick loading. One feature that gives it an edge over the popular cloud storage services is file versioning. This feature allows you to save previous versions of the same file, which you can use when needed. However, one issue I have with Mega is that it doesn't allow third-party apps, making collaboration with non-Mega users difficult. The company has tried to get around that by introducing Megadrop. Megadrop allows me to collaborate with non-Mega users by creating a unique folder where they can drop files without creating an account. But one cloud storage service with end-to-end -end encryption that also allows third-party apps is pCloud. Sign up today for an 80% discount. Overall, I like Mega's features, especially its Mega Chat and file sharing qualities, but its limitation regarding collaborating with non-Mega users has cost it some marks. Thus, I'll award it four out of five in the features department. But which of these features intrigue you? Let me know in the comment section. Now onto the next category, security. Mega's trump card is its security, arguably the finest in the industry. It is a prestigious member of the cloud storage platform group that has rolled out end-to-end -end zero knowledge encryption. But, wait for it, you can get it for free. Yes, Mega's free plan features end-to-end -end encryption, but more on that later. Mega automatically encrypts your files client-side, making you the only one with access to your files. Not even Mega or any malicious actor can see what you've stored in your account. To keep your files secured when at rest, Mega employs AES-128 encryption, which is kinda old technology, but it's pretty solid. <laughs> And when the files are in transit, Mega encrypts them with industry standard transport layer security protocols. On top of all that, you could opt for the Mega multi-factor authentication feature, which uses the time-based one-time password technology. This technology gives you 30 seconds to enter a generated one-time password from an authenticator app installed on your phone. 
Personally, I find this technology more secure than email or SMS-based multi-factor authentication, which many platforms, including the giants, use. However, I feel Mega could have gone a step further by adding a secure vault where users can keep their sensitive files and anti-malware protection to fight malicious software. So on that score, I'll award it 4.5 out of 5 for security. But is a secure vault necessary given that Mega Cloud already has end-to-end -end encryption? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Oh, and if you don't, like and subscribe to this channel. The owner of Mega, Kim.com, will break into your house. Don't do it, Kim. Please don't sit on me. We can't talk about security without privacy. The two are like Bonnie and Clyde. But first, let's address the elephant in the room. Hello, elephant. Mega's controversial history. So, let's roll back the tape. Mega Cloud was once known as Mega Uploads, a cloud-based file sharing platform riddled with several copyright infringement claims. Thus, in 2012, the US Department of Justice shot down Mega Uploads and seized all of its assets, forcing the company to rebrand to Mega Cloud Storage in 2013. So, what does that all have to do with you? Well, nothing you should worry your head about. All that is in the past. And Mega is committed to ensuring users' privacy by subjecting itself to GDPR, the toughest privacy law in the world. On top of that, its zero-knowledge end-to-end encryption keeps prying eyes away from accessing your data, so there shouldn't be any cause for alarm. However, there is one teeny weeny area which some users might find a bit concerning. Is the company's membership in the much maligned Five Eyes Alliance? However, Mega's annual transparency report, which details its activities, should calm some nerves. <sighs> so, given the company's dark past and its membership in the Five Eyes Alliance, my initial thoughts were to award it 3.5 for privacy. But its zero-knowledge encryption and GDPR compliance means the company takes users' privacy pretty seriously. So I will give it 4 out of 5. Would you consider Mega's past when deciding whether to purchase the service? Let me know in the comments below. Talking of purchase, let's see how much you'll pay for the Mega Premium plans. Mega has 20 gigabyte storage space on its free plan, one of the biggest in the industry. However, its paid plans are pretty expensive. The Premium plans come in four tiers, Pro Lite, Pro One, Pro 2 and Pro 3, each with corresponding features and prices, and a very creative naming convention. The Pro Lite plan costs $4.99 a month, but you can subscribe to the annual plan and pay $49.99 per year. It has a 400GB storage capacity and a 1TB file transfer quota. The next plan, Pro 1, costs $10.88 monthly. But if you choose the annual plan, you get to pay $108.80. The Pro One has a storage capacity of 2 terabytes, and it allows you to transfer files of up to 2 terabytes. The third plan, Pro Two, will cost you $21.76 monthly and $217.60 annually. It showcases an 8 terabyte storage space and places the file transfer cap at 8 terabytes. The final pricing tier, Pro 3, comes with a whopping 16 terabytes of storage space and costs $32.65 monthly. Or you can choose the annual option for $326.50 and enjoy the 16 terabyte file transfer limit with the package. There is also the Pro Flexi plan designed for businesses to keep up with their ever growing demands on storage space. It costs $16.50 per terabyte a month and comes with 3 terabytes of storage capacity. However, you can add extra storage space at $2.75 per terabyte. Mega's exorbitant premium plans are not helping its cause, especially when popular platforms charge less. So I'm going to give it 3.5 out of 5. But do you think Mega's tighter security and privacy justifies its expensive price tag? Let us know down below. Mega Cloud Storage has a well-organized, modern-looking user interface that is eye-pleasing. I like the dark theme, as it gives me Batman vibes. There's also the Achievements tab that rewards you with goodies, like extra storage spaces when you complete certain tasks. 
Then there's the referral program section that gives you 20% of whatever amount your referee spent on any of the premium plans. I like that I can add Mega as a browser extension, so I don't always have to launch the app or use another browser. This reduces load time and enhances download. Registration is fairly simple. You just provide certain personal details and a password, and you're all signed on. After signing up, Mega doesn't leave you stranded. Its pop-up messages take you through the basics of using the platform to get you started. You can easily find the key features on the left of the screen, making navigation a breeze. You can choose to use the QR scan code to add your friends and family to your contact list. Storage options are very visible, making the uploading of files and folders a pretty straightforward task. All menus and sub-menus are neatly arranged, and the desktop is clutter-free. You can also play music, watch movies, and preview images right in the browser. So I'll give Mega a 5 out of 5 for its neat, user-friendly interface that makes navigation fairly simple. But what do you make of Mega's features? Let me know in the comments section. It's now time to tally the marks and see how Mega Cloud fared in our review today. While we wait for the total marks, let me pinpoint a few drawbacks that you should be wary of. The first is its pricey paid plans. To put it in context, Google Drive's highest plan, the premium, costs $9.99 a month and features 2 terabytes of storage space. Mega's Pro One, which features a similar 2 terabyte storage space, costs $10.99 a month. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Mega's biggest plan, the Pro 3, is $33.08 a month and showcases a 16 terabyte storage space. Maybe the size of the storage space makes up for its costs, but I feel the company could beat down its price a bit. Another drawback that you should consider is its limited support. Aside from email, visiting the help center or opening a ticket, there's no way to get a swift response from the company. No chats, no phone calls. If you run into any issue with any of their services, then you might have to wait quite a long time for a reply. Actually, this shouldn't be much of an issue if you use Mega properly, but who knows? Anything can go south at any time. Mega features a file transfer quota system, which shouldn't be a problem if your work doesn't require you to transfer big file sizes. However, if you're a videographer or photographer, or simply someone who deals with huge file transfers, you might have some problems. Mega Cloud Storage gives a certain quota for file transfers. If you exhaust them, you might have to purchase the next premium plan. Failure to purchase an additional premium plan means that you can't upload, copy, or import files to your account. Also, the synchronization feature and scheduled backups will stop working, and you can no longer send files to your colleagues via MegaChat. Mega's tight security means that you can't integrate third-party apps like Google Docs and Microsoft Office on OneDrive. And given the sheer number of people on these platforms, collaborating with them will be difficult. Of course, you can use the MegaDrop feature to create a unique folder for collaborators to drop their files without creating an account. However, this feature is very limiting. So the results are ready, and here they come. MegaCloud scored a total of 21 out of 25, which is great for a relatively new cloud storage platform. So what is your overall impression of Mega Cloud Storage? Let me know in the comments section below. In the meantime, you can click on this video here if you want to learn more about the best free cloud storage services that offer better collaborative features. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.